in this video we are going to see how to create a login page but now using the concept of request dispatcher interface request dispatcher is an interface in java ee that allows us to transfer the control to another servlet another jsp page or another html page request dispatcher has two basic methods one is forward and another one is include so what does a forward method do a forward method will typically hand over the control to another page so whatever you are doing you will give the work to someone else and they will carry forward that work so that is what forward does there is something also called as include include method includes the response of the second page to the first page it will include the response of second page to first page so in include we are not handing over the control completely we are telling them whatever is your response give it to us and we will incorporate that so in forward the complete access to both request as well as response objects are given to the second page whereas in include the access to the request object is given but the response object is limited i repeat in forward the access of the request as well as response object is handed over to the second page completely whereas in include the access of the request object is completely given but the access to the response object is limitedly given to the second page but whatever is the response of the second page that is incorporated or included into the first page now if you read both these questions you will just understand that apart from the password there is nothing different in the questions the questions are quite similar to one another so we will start with this particular practical as usual we will create a new project so file new project java web web application and next i am giving the name as rd demo that is request dispatcher demo next glassfish server it is selected no need to do anything next no need to select any frameworks click on finish now when we click on finish a html page opens in front of us now in this practical students what we are going to do is we are going to create a login form first of all so to create a login form first of all change the title i am giving the title as login page and then i am creating a form now how to create a form i think so everyone is well versed it by now action is equal to login servlet that will be the name of my file now i am creating a login form so enter username input type is equal to text name is equal to txt username brbr just for line break then enter password now as we had done it last time we will not give the type as text rather we will give the type as password the reason for that is we don't want anyone else seeing our password so when you give type as password the actual text is not shown rather the circles are shown so type as password name is txt password you have to remember the names because you will access it later on so brbr we are done with our two fields now what is remaining is two buttons so obviously one submit button and one reset button so submit button the type is submit 
and value I am giving as login and then my reset button so input type is equal to reset value is equal to clear now our form is ready we will go ahead and create other files now when I click on submit button I should open a file which is called as login servlet so let us create login servlet first so right click on the project name and then select servlet what name we are going to give now we will give the name as login servlet and we will write demo SRD that is servlet request dispatcher okay don't forget to click on this text box to add information to the deployment descriptor and then click on finish so now our servlet is ready what we will do in this is we will first clear out all the unnecessary comments we want this statement print writer so we will copy it from here paste it over here and then remove everything down from try this is extra remove it change this to service method that's it our uh, basic editing is done now we will start writing the code now very importantly what are we supposed to do so as I told you we are going to use the forward method and the include method now if the password matches We will forward the request to another servlet which is called as welcome servlet. And if the password does not match, we will forward our request or rather we will include the error message in the index.html. So this is what we are supposed to do. Now let us see how we will do it. Very first of all, fetch the username and password from the index.html. So I am going to declare two string variables, uname and password. Uname is equal to request.getParameter. Now, what name we had given in our uh, index.html it was txt username where u and n was capital similarly for password just make sure that there are no spelling mistakes over here then password is equal to request dot get parameter and it is txt password now once this is there we will compare our password because we are not comparing the username as of now we are just comparing the password so I am writing if password dot equals servlet depending on your question you will write the password if your question is this you will write the password as admin otherwise here in the first question you will write the password as servlet so depending on the question you will change your value over here now if the password is servlet what am I supposed to do I am supposed to forward the request 
to another page which is called as welcome circuit how can i forward the request to another page using request dispatcher so let us first create the object of the request dispatcher so how to create the object of request dispatcher we will write r e q u e s t request dispatcher r d is equal to request dot get request dispatcher and in that we have to give the path of the file so what is the path of the file it is the name of the servlet for which you want to forward the request so it is welcome servlet now if you see over here they are giving you the error at request dispatcher so if you go here you will carefully see import javax.servlet.requestdispatcher so you can either click over on this and the request dispatcher will be imported over here you can see otherwise what you can do is you can come over here and you can type import javax.servlet.requestdispatcher okay so you can either use the help from netbeans or you can go ahead and you can type it on your own but it is extremely important to import this particular section whenever you are working with request dispatcher now we have a method of request dispatcher as forward now in this method we have to pass two objects one is request and another one is response now the request will be forwarded to the welcome servlet along with the re request and response objects now in case the username and passwords do not match then what are we supposed to do we are supposed to include the error message we are supposed to include the error message so again here i am creating the object of request dispatcher request dispatcher rd is equal to request dot get request dispatcher and now i have to forward it to include dot sorry index dot html and it will be rd dot include request comma response but now what response do i want to include in index.html so i have to write out that response so it will be out dot print ln login failed try again so whatever is your response you will write it now this is this practical is done partially i still have to create a welcome servlet so what do i do for welcome servlet i create another servlet so right click on the project new servlet and here i will give the name exactly as i have given in the get request dispatcher method that is welcome servlet you can select your earlier package only no need to select a completely new package next add information to deployment descriptor and then finish here also you will do exactly the same thing you will clear out all the comments which are there change the process request method to the service method and then only proceed
carefully observe what I am doing. Now I will write the message. Welcome. But I just don't want to write the message welcome. I want to write the message welcome and the username that the user has entered. Now where is the username that the user has entered? In our index.html. So how to fetch it from there? Very simple. First of all declare a string variable called as uname as we already always do. Then uname equal to request dot get parameter and name of the parameter will be provided. What is the name of our parameter? It is txt user name. Now in welcome we will write welcome space plus inverted commas complete plus sign you name. That's it. Our project is complete. We will run the project now and see if we are getting the output. So, username as I am putting it as Aditi and here I am putting it as servlet. So, login. You are getting an error message over here. Now what is the re reason of this error message? If you get this error message, how will you solve it? Can you notice one thing? Here we did not change the process request to service. Now students, since in every practical I tell you one one error that you may encounter in this practical I am telling you about the error called as 405. Now, if you don't change your process request to service, you will get the error 405. So, whenever you get the error 405, the first thing you do is you check whether you are having service method in your servlet or it is still process request. If it is still process request, you will quickly go and change it to service. So, we will run the code again and see if we have done it correctly. So, again username I am entering as Aditi, password I am entering as servlet. And I am saying login. Did you observe how the errors get, got solved very quickly? Now, I am trying to give some different password which is not servlet. It is showing me my index.html page again and it is telling me login failed, try again. So this is the practical of request dispatching.